All right, let's start this stuff. <laughs> um, so the other day, I mean, well, the last video, I, I noticed that I had a weird kind of like function definition here or declaration. Um, so let's look at this. We have a, a var step equals function, and then this is the function, and we're using this, like we're 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 using it as a function. Uh, where's a better example? Here we go. Draw background or BG, right? This is this is straight up a, a function call, right? But down here, when we're declaring the function or we're setting the function up, we're creating a variable called draw BG, and we're giving it a kind of anonymous function. And then this is the anonymous function stuff. Uh, that's, I mean, clearly it works. We can see that it's working, but it's not. It's not what I actually want to do. I, I, I kind of did this because I just I saw it on the internet and I wasn't thinking. And and then when I came down to here, I'm like, oh, we can just declare functions, can't we? We can just do a function and the function name, and then and that's this. This is I think a much neater sort of like for what we're trying to do, at least. This this has its purpose up here. This anonymous function declaration kind of thing or uh, the named function expression. I, I looked it up. I actually spent some time over here on Stack Overflow um, and I asked, I mean, I didn't ask the question, but somebody asked the question, what's the difference between var function name equals function with some code or function, function name with some code, right? What's the difference between these two things? Because he's got to, uh, you know, take over somebody else's code, which so happens, I mean, all of the time, right? And and here I am even, I'm setting up some code that is just all like twisty, weird, you know, it's got some functions being being declared like, like this with the function, and it's got some functions being declared like this, and and I didn't, I didn't think too much of it because it's all working. And so, well, if it works, it works, but also like I wanted to know. So I spent some time reading today and turns out that this these people on the internet much 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 more uh, intelligent than I am at Stack Overflow where all of the answers are really excited about that but they've got some really great uh, things to say about why it's doing that and how it's doing that um, I learned a little bit about like <laughs> uh, you know like global functions not global functions but variables and scopes and functions and and sometimes uh, I was having issues where I would declare a function in this manner right here with the var draw bird equal function, but I would use that function above it and it wouldn't always work, you know? And it was really kind of disappointing. Um, and so anyway, we're gonna, I'm just gonna take a minute. It's not gonna be a long video. I'm just gonna take a minute. I'm gonna rename these functions. So they're just functions. Uh, so a lot of these var, yeah, var, stuff right here we're we're not going to have that we're just going to have the draw background we're going to cut that out put that in here get rid of the var and just every time we do this i'm going to hit that run button make sure i don't break anything and i shouldn't break anything because again we are using that draw background as a straight function i mean it's a function call right here we're not trying to set a value to a variable and get that value right um we're not trying to do anything fancy here, but this is a very sort of fancy way to do it. We don't we don't need to. Uh, so we're just going to rewrite it. Yeah, bye bye. Goodbye. This is the draw bird. And remember bird is spelled B-I-R-D. So draw bird. Let's run that. And again, still no issues here. So we're all we're all happy about that bar update. Doesn't need to be there. Bye bye. We're going to have a function update. That's better run that still working and then of course we have a function step so we're going to have function step and run it okay so we went through we i renamed function draw pipe earlier um it was a var draw pipe function um and now all of my variables are up here <laughs> these are again all beautiful global variables in this in this scope at least um it's probably not a big deal because it's all in the same document. Um, but, you know, things happen. Um, so now, again, I've just re... I guess, is it refactoring? Refactored the code? I don't know. I just rewrote the code to make it a little bit easier for me to understand what is happening. Because, again, we didn't need those to be variables. We just wanted them to be functions. 
right? Um, and so, so that's what we've done. We've, we've now got an update function that's not pretending to be a variable. Now, by doing so, we also have these uh, extra semicolons at the end. We don't need those anymore. Um, we needed them earlier because it was a sort of, you can imagine when you set a variable with a name and then the equal sign and everything on the right side of the equal sign is going to be effectively the same line of code. And so you need to have a semicolon on the end of that line of code, even though it takes up multiple lines of code. All of that was kind of, you know, one line of code. And so now we don't need those semicolons to end that line. So we're happy. So it's a lot cleaner now. And that is really all I'm going to do here. Just I wanted to clean it up. So I cleaned it up. And next time I'm going to have a video, I'm going to, uh, well, I'm going to start with it all nice and cleaned. Okay. So I'm not even going to put a link to this particular code. It's just sort of like, hey, guys, um, we're all learners here. And this looks better. I think it's more clear for what we're trying to do. It's a lot less confusing. Um, and I think this is a better way of declaring functions when we're trying to declare functions. And if we need to use the other way later, when we're trying to do some named function expressions, we can do that later. So that's our, I'm going to leave that comment right there for the function declaration. Uh, yeah. So thank you. And we'll see you in the next video.